14th July 1914, the South Lock entrance to the Alexandra Dock was officially opened by Prince Arthur of Connaught on board Lord Chadiga's steam yacht, the Liberty. It was an important moment for Newport. Measuring over 300 metres in length and just over 30 metres in width, it was the largest lock of its kind at the time and was a phenomenal achievement. Ships could now enter the docks directly from the Bristol Channel, as well as from the River Usk. The story of the construction of the lock and Alexandra Docks is also the story of Newport. Links with the sea go back a very long time. In 2002, the remains of a medieval ship were found on the riverside. It was built in the Basque region of what is now northern Spain and traded as far south as Spain. But it was the Industrial Revolution around 200 years ago, especially the production of pig iron and the mining of coal in the eastern valleys of South Wales that really changed Newport. It was boom time and the population grew. Canal boat after canal boat followed by train after train brought load after load to the berths on the river to be transported to other parts of Britain and to other parts of the world. A dock was needed and in 1842 Town Dock was opened to improve the facilities for loading and unloading. This was especially important for the large American export ships that were using the port. It was a busy time. Newport continued to grow and trade increased. The number of ships using Newport multiplied. There still wasn't enough room. In 1858, Town Dock was extended. But the number of ships just kept growing. And there still wasn't enough room. In 1865, the Alexander Dock Act was passed. And work began on their construction in 1868. It would be a long project. The first of the Alexandra docks was just not big enough. The South Dock extension involved working day and night. Using artificial light. The work was long, hard and very tiring. And it was not without danger. On the 2nd of July 1909, disaster struck at the construction of the South Lock. 46 men were buried instantly. When a wall collapsed, a young boy, Tom Toyer Lewis, was awarded the Albert Medal by the King for his part in the rescue that day. It was a disaster that could not stop the construction succeeding. Flags flew high on the day of the official opening and the people cheered for Prince Arthur and the Liberty. Three cheers for Prince Arthur, the Liberty and the Great South Lock. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! The story goes on. The Alexandra Docks is now operated by Associated British Ports and it is an important hub for Wales and the United Kingdom. It handles a variety of bulk goods, including coal, forest products and steel. Huge ships still enter the docks through the Great South Lock from all over the world and will continue to do so for many years to come. <laughs>